Hello, and welcome to the Bloomberg Forum. I'm Alicia Marin. My guest today is Daniel Strauss. He is the president and chief executive of Multicare Companies, a provider of long-term care services. Welcome to Bloomberg. Thank you. Mr. Strauss, you just announced the acquisition of privately held ADS Group. Why this particular company? Well, uh, the company has a, a very deliberate strategy for its growth. Uh, Multicare focuses on acquisitions outside of its existing markets by going into uh, new markets to acquire clusters um, where a company that is the premium provider and so we focus on quality product uh, and ADS is very consistent with that strategy. It represents the expansion of multi-care into a contiguous market with uh, a new cluster. ADS is the dominant player in Massachusetts in terms of long-term care as well as um, ADS is in the assisted living business uh, in terms of having a strong development and management expertise and a management expertise in hospital-based skilled units. Both of those last two businesses are lines of business that we're looking to bolster within our own geographic locations. So ADS is one consistent with the clustering and two gives us new product lines. And how many services does this company add or how many beds as, as you like to measure? Right, well uh, the company has uh, ADS uh, operates approximately 6,000 beds. A third of it are owned and the balance is managed. Um, and uh, this is a really good concentration. It gives us all of the economies of scale and the efficiencies that we like to operate with. In terms of sales and profits, what would this company add? Well, uh, they're on a run rate of a little more than 80 million uh, for 96. We expect the transaction to close at the end of 96, and therefore we'll be adding uh, it mostly in 97 to Multicare. With many mergers or acquisitions, there's always layoffs. How many do you expect from this particular merger? Well, actually, what's unique about the ADS group is um, we were buying management, and we don't anticipate layoffs at all. Um, there will be cross synergies between our company and the ADS group. Uh, we'll be using some of their management expertise, as I mentioned. Uh, they will be using some of our systems expertise, but we really don't see any uh, layoffs. Uh, they're running as a very good group the way they have it right now. Now, you mentioned the merger is supposed to be completed around the fourth quarter. When will this company be fully integrated as a, subsidi a subsidiary of yours? The full integration usually takes about 12 months. Okay. Um, 12 months then. That's right. Okay. You're paying uh, about 62.6 million. You'll assume about or repay about 27 million in debt, and you'll issue about 532,000 shares. Specifically, when will this impact your sales and profits? Well, the the statement that we're making right now, um, we wanted to get the news out about the ADS group. We haven't determined the exact nature of our financing. Um, depending upon how we finance the transaction, uh, the deal is either accretive or extremely accretive, um, but it's definitely going to impact us from day one uh, and we'll continue to um, move up in terms of uh, the benefits over, as I say, the, or as you say, the integration period. But uh, we, we have a number of opportunities in terms of how to finance the transaction. Uh, if we finance it through our lines, uh, we get certain numbers. If we finance it in other ways off balance sheet, we get other numbers, and therefore uh, we haven't exactly set the, uh, uh, the, the hurdle rates. Will acquisitions be a key to the company's growth this year? Uh, acquisitions have been uh, a, a key uh, over the years, and we this is um, one of four acquisitions that we've announced uh, since uh, September of '95. Uh, the other three have been closed, um, and this is really, I guess, uh, the first three were for '96 uh, in terms of uh, our activity and our uh, operating strategy. Uh, this is a 97 transaction because of when it will close toward the end of the year. All right, we're almost out of time. A analysts are looking for about a dollar share for 1996. Are you comfortable with that estimate? Very comfortable. All right, well, thanks for joining me. Thank you. 
Our guest today has been Daniel Strauss. He is the president and chief executive of Multicare Companies. I'm Alicia Marin with the Bloomberg Forum in New York. The exclusive Bloomberg Forum interview series leverages the strengths of the award-winning Bloomberg Business News and the Bloomberg Online Terminal, giving the interviewee complete information distribution, all in one place, all at one time. The interview that you've just watched is reaching financial professionals and individual investors through online electronic newswire, audio-visual multimedia reports, radio, television, magazines, and newspapers. From small growth companies to multi-billion dollar conglomerates, the Bloomberg Forum helps companies communicate with this targeted audience. The Forum interview process begins with a visit to Bloomberg state-of-the-art studios, where a Bloomberg business news reporter will conduct a videotaped interview. The interview then forms the basis for an electronic print article that's distributed to all 250,000 people who subscribe to Bloomberg's core product, the Bloomberg Terminal, as well as more than 160 flagship newspapers worldwide. For those individuals who do have the use of a Bloomberg Terminal, Bloomberg offers the latest in multimedia technology. The audio video from every interview are compressed and produced into a multimedia report which is accessible on command by all Bloomberg subscribers. VHS copies of Bloomberg Forum events are also available to order. In an effort to expand Bloomberg's audience even further, Forum highlights also appear in Bloomberg Personal, a monthly personal finance supplement that's distributed to more than six million consumers through major U.S. newspapers. The publications include the well-received Bloomberg Multimedia page, which makes it possible for individual investors to call an 800 number and request specific information on a company, either in print or in audio format. To add to the benefits of print media, each month a Bloomberg Forum interview appears in Bloomberg Magazine, which reaches 250,000 sophisticated readers who consider the publication a must-read and a must-save. Why? because Bloomberg Magazine has proved a valuable source of information for professionals in the financial markets. In an ever-progressing effort to saturate the media world, the Bloomberg has carved its own niche in business television. 65 million of the nation's top investment professionals and sophisticated consumers tune into Bloomberg Business News on PBS every morning to get a head start on the day's business and economic news. Immediately following the top stories of the day, which kicks off the show, the Business Forum highlights a newsmaker interview. News from selected forum interviews are also featured on Bloomberg Information Television, a 24-hour news service available on DirecTV satellite television and various cable outlets. And market experts and portfolio managers who take part in the Bloomberg Forum will also appear on USA Network's first business program. News from those forum interviews may also be featured on Bloomberg Personal, a personal finance show that's nationally syndicated, and Bloomberg Business Updates that air on the Fox Television Network. Bloomberg Forum interviews may also be heard on Info 1130 AM, an all-news New York City radio station with programming syndicated throughout the U.S., reaching 200 million listeners. And finally, as a natural supplement to the Bloomberg Forum process, Bloomberg conference centers in New York, London, Tokyo, and Hong Kong are available for analyst and shareholder meetings. Professionals worldwide can participate in meetings in person or through conference lines. To sum it up, the Bloomberg Forum is CEO interviews, market expert interviews, it's meetings with analysts and portfolio managers. It's getting information to those who can use it all in one place, all at one time. Bloomberg caters to the world's top financial and business professionals, getting information to them in whatever format they need to make their important business decisions. For more information on the Bloomberg Forum, call 1-800-448-5678, extension 2085.